Hi guys, this is Wirehead King, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to use the fluid simulator in uh, Blender 2.56. So I've got this simple setup here. It's just basically a uh, kind of a, a tub. Well, I think I think that might be the word to describe this, but uh, it's kind of a little thing to just catch the fluid that I'm going to be adding into this scene. This is just made up of uh, mirrors um, and subsurf and a bit of. Uh, extruding and that's about it really so um i'm just going to apply these modifiers now so that then uh, it's all one big thing and we're going to get into the fluid simulator so i'm going to make this a bit smaller and uh in fact if i just add some sort of nah, oh nah that's a stupid idea um and i'm going to add a cube and just make this take up more than enough of the area of this tub and in fact, I'm just going to add a floor underneath this tub as well, just to catch any water that's or fluid that's not quite uh, been uh, that sorry that's uh, fallen out the edge or something. So I'm also going to uh, duplicate this cube, bring it up here, and in fact, if I rotate this a bit, yeah, in fact, um, yeah, that'd be quite nice. Um, let's just rotate it again just to make it perfect there we go and now I'm going to in fact no that's it that's all I need to do so I've got my general setup now to get into the fluid thing okay so I'm gonna make this big cube my domain uh, there's a reason why you need a domain um, Blender's going to have to calculate all of this space which is actually going to take forever because this space goes on and on and on forever um, so uh, you know you need a domain for it to be able to just calculate the boundaries of something now you're probably thinking you know if there's nothing out there why is it calculating it well blender needs to figure out that there's nothing out there um, so you know it, it just needs to know if it's got a little boundary thing it can say right what vertices are inside that it would get them all blob them all in or whether or not they're involved in the fluid simulation at all so um, yeah, so we need this domain. So if you just uh, go over here, fluid domain, um, there. So it just went up here, went down to fluid domain. Okay. Uh, for some reason, it's deciding to form a monkey shape. I have no idea why that is. In fact, yeah, that's actually scarily similar. Hang on, uh, cursed you selected to uh, this as I'm about to show you now. Don't you just see the resemblance? <laughs> okay, that's mildly freaky. Okay, so uh, now we need to, you know, because this isn't a complete fluid simulation, so all this does is splodge against the floor and then it was going to do some weird stuff there. You can see, and you know, so we really need to bake it later on. But of course, you know, we need to have the other stuff applied. This is going to be our obstacle this is going to be another obstacle and this is going to be the flow alright then no wait no 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 sorry I accidentally added a smoke thing I um, meant fluid um, uh, fluid uh, not flow of course get rid of that and now we can start setting some properties okay so we want this to go quick so let's just set this to about one So if we just set this to about six, then let's see, is that yeah. Okay, so we've got that at six. Uh resolution, I'm gonna set these both to one hundred. Um Yeah, so that yeah, if I go to final here as well, that means that we can uh uh view it at all its glory. And that's that. Any properties needed for this? Don't think so. No, not really. Um, let's see, we're going to want a partial slip on this, yep, that's good. Ooh, actually, now we're going to want a free slip, aren't we, because then it will uh, go splosh, out it goes, right, and then the uh, rest of it will just be sitting in there. In fact, um, yeah, we might as well keep it at that. Uh, impact factor, this one, yep, we're going to, we can leave that for now and same for this, we're going to want partial slip for this okay 
Uh, now to get into the baking section of it all. Uh, select your domain. Um, and here, we're in this little thing. Down here, just click on this thing and save it somewhere. So if we go to desktop, I made one earlier, a little folder. Uh, where is it? Uh, blender fluid bake, here we go. Uh, you can see what it takes to bake just a hundred frames. Quite a lot of stuff. So uh, I'm just going to actually quickly come out of Blender and just delete all that stuff. Uh, and you can see here as well the amount of lists that it takes. Delete that. Yes, I want to delete 753 items. Okay. Hmm. Well, anyway, uh, so yeah, please be aware that uh, the more re high resolution your stuff is, the longer it's going to take to bake, meaning the more files it's making, meaning the less memory on your computer. Uh, so that's fine. I'm just going to save it in that little thing I was on about earlier. Desktop. Uh, blender fluid bake. Accept. Okay, so that's all being saved there. Uh, and we can now start baking. So I'm going to pause. If I'm going to actually press the bake button and then I'm going to pause. So we're pressing bake. And you can see up here there's a little bar that goes along indicating, uh, you know, the progress of baking. Uh, so anyway, I'm going to pause this now and I'm going to go on Xbox. Alright then, so uh, the baking has finished, so let's take a look at what it looks like. Alright then, um, yep, yeah, that's fine. Uh, if we just look at that again. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to end frame at 100. There we go. So yeah, you can see it lands in this tub thing and then uh, kind of splats. Um, seems the plane didn't quite work. Uh, but you get the idea. So, um, right. Now we can, uh, you can give it materials now. You can, uh, you know, do all sorts of stuff to render it. But generally, uh, you've got your little fluid thing happening. So, uh, comment, rate, subscribe. This has been Wirehead King. Hope you enjoyed. Hope this helps you in your uh, projects. Um, comment, rate, subscribe. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye bye.